first ride transition sentinel with 150 millimeters rear travel full aluminium frame as far as manuals go <laughs> it manuals I built the bike up using parts from my previous bike suspension, drivetrain, wheels, brakes, handlebars etc all what I've been running before the measurements I've based my decision on trying to get a size as similar as I could to my previous size large because I found that fitted me well I'm six foot tall. The wheelbase is 1,233 millimeters, which is exactly the same as my previous bike. Reach is slightly less, so it's 450 millimeters for the side medium frame. My other bike was 455. The head to gangle is 63.6 degrees compared to my previous bike, which is 65 and a half degrees. So that's more or less two degrees slacker. Forks I'm running. At the moment, a 170 millimeters on the front. Transition recommend a 160 mil. So I've shortened my reach slightly because these were for my previous bike. So I've got options to either reduce the travel on these forks or maybe in future look at uh, getting a different set. Chain stays 440 millimeters compared with 445 on the other bike. As far as everything else goes, I'm just going to be testing it on just a, a metal little sec section of trail. Beautiful pop here with the shoulder chain stays. I think as far as sizes go, it's so much down to personal preference to what you're looking for that I think there's always going to be a compromise somewhere. Most of my local trails are slow, medium speed, so really, for me personally, I'm, I'm bearing towards more nimbleness. up well and uh, it really feels like it tracks the ground. Thank you. 
just a few small adjustments. As far as manuals go, <laughs> yeah, big manuals. Like that. So this will be a follow-up back out to do more of the same really, just to get more acclimatised. So the trail fly ride is very, very crunchy, it doesn't give you any time whatsoever to uh, acclimatise, so uh, Feel the grip. It's a bit of a ring. It's nice from the uh, tight end. That's blown out, isn't it? <laughs> I've been using my original dropper post with 150 mil. Legs are barely able to extend so I can feel quite a bit of stress on uh, on my knees. The next essential is gonna have to be a longer drop of pose. Can we feel even their mind? Absolutely stunning. Two hundred millimeter drop and now fit it. That extra distance really does make a difference to climb in. It's exactly the same make as well, Brand X Ascent. The length of the seat post on the medium sized frames is uh, a lot shorter than uh, my previous intense carbon by, by a good 40 millimeters, so that explains why. I was feeling cramped. We're sitting more in the middle of the bike with a straighter seat tube angle compared to a previous bike that had a much slacker angle, which felt sometimes like the front was weaving around a bit.
there we have it two things that I like first one is the cable guides uh, split in two pieces with a screw on the uh, in front of them so if you do need to replace the cable guide you don't have to remove the entire cable external rear brake route in as well which is a good idea either you want to upgrade your brake or you just uh, got a problem with it and you may have a spare one or you want to do any sort of fixing oh, it saves so much hassle of not having to remove it from the frame and refit it and then mess about geometry feels nice feels very stable on on brakes and the braking it doesn't feel as if um, the bike wanders around a lot it stays very neutral and calm more demanding terrain it can seem to get a little bit loose and also i think that could be as well down to suspension setup i've not really uh got it yet the way it probably should be so it's a little bit off still um anything else really oh yeah there was just like a little annoying uh noise that i would get where the bottle bracket mount i put some foam on the inside there because the bottle was basically catching on the frame could be the bottle mount and with it being in front uh, we can see the, just a little bit of foam under there just to cushion it because uh, I thought it was the suspension bottom and out I thought oh it sounded horrible but that was nothing uh, cable put a little bit of foam just by the head tube there just to stop the uh, cable it was just where it's starting to wear the paint work there looking forward to getting some more miles in and uh, yeah see how she goes then